Good morning. Welcome to 5 Minute Fresh Start. I'm Sebastian Lacito. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 has the statement, do you not know? And I think there's, there's five or six of them. And I want to go through the do you not know. Uh, so 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2, it says, do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge even the smallest matter? In other words, don't you know that you and I are going to judge the world? We're going to judge the people of the world, the things of the world. The next one is we're going to judge angels. But here's what he's saying. If you can't judge things in this life, how are you going to judge things when we have that authority to judge? That's what he's saying here. He says, listen, that the saints will judge the world, and if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to what? Judge the smallest matter? It goes on to say, verse 3, Do you not know that we shall judge the angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then you have judgment concerning things pertaining to this life, do you appoint those who are least esteemed by the church to judge? In other words, we're going to judge even the angels and their activities. You know, you know understand the gravity of, of who we are in Christ and who Christ made us to be. You know, don't take the judgment in this world and the things that we judge lightly. Verse 9, do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicator, nor adulterer, nor adulteress, nor homosexual, nor uh, sodomist, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor reveling, nor ex extortionists shall inherit the kingdom of God, and such were some of you, but you were washed and sanctified. That's the cleansing of your mind. But you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus by the Spirit of God. You know, so he's saying, don't you know that these actions will not lead to salvation? These actions are, are not indicative of someone who knows Christ. Don't you know that it's wrong? Now, the, the Corinthian church had issues with, uh, with sin, especially lust and, and physical sin, sexual sin. Verse 15, don't you know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take a member of Christ and make it a member of a harlot? Certainly not. Or don't you know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body with her? For the two, he says, shall become one. But he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. And so he's saying here, if you're joined to the Lord and you go and you sexually sin, as David did, you step out, you become one with the person you're having sex with. We're called to be one with Jesus and to be one with our husband and wife. When we go outside of that, we actually make ourselves adulterers, adulteresses, or even fornicators to make ourselves one with that person through sexual in, uh, intimacy. And so the Bible tells us not to do that. Don't you know? And he goes on to say, the next one is, is, uh, is don't you know? Don't you know that uh, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, who you have from God, and you're not your own, for you've been bought with a price. Glorify God then in your body, in your spirit, which are God's. And he's saying, don't you know that the Spirit of God lives in us? Don't you know that when we, we're born again, we're one with Jesus? Anything we do, here he uses sexual sin, but anything we do, we drag the Spirit of God, we grieve the Spirit of God by bringing him into our sin, into our actions, into our words. When you lie or gossip or act jealousy or envy or speak hate or, or uh, anger or swear or Tell a dirty joke or, or you, know, uh, uh, you know, hit on somebody or have sex outside of marriage. All of these things were bringing the Spirit of God into them, and it's wrong. And so here's the thing, guys. We're called to serve him in our spirit, our soul, and our body. Please share this. Watchersoftruth.com. Please pray about donating to us monthly and using our curriculums, our workbooks, ordering them and uh, helping us get the word of God into the hearts and minds of the world. God bless you guys and have